Hello, I have my video editing buddy here. Um, first of all, remember French braiding your hair before you go to bed when it's wet and then waking up in the morning? I don't even have to do anything to it. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, we got a ton done, but I wasn't super involved in filming. I spent a lot of time, um, Matt's mom while she was here, and Matt's dad helped him out with the van. So shout out to my cool in-laws. We had such a good time with them. But normally I kind of have an idea of what film clips we have and like the direction it's going. And I always try to make sure that we have like some sort of intro scene and then some sort of like ending footage. So I'm importing the GoPro right now. I just um, downloaded everything off of this camera and I'm not too sure what this storyline is going to be like to be honest. All right, let's do it. Good morning. We are starting early today. The video from last week is uploading. It's supposed to be 112 today, so we're probably pretty limited on what we can do. But Matt is working on installing the gravity water fill pump tank, tank for the 20 gallon water tank right here. So we got all the tubing from Lowe's and we gotta try to figure out how to clamp it in and make sure it doesn't leak, drill a hole in the side of the van and put the pump in so we can um, fill water from the outside. Let's do it. So we've run into our first fun pickup right when we started. We realized that the actual water fill hole is on this corner, not on this corner like we thought. And this little guy connects from the outside to the inside so gravity pulls water through so it has to be on this side now. Whatever. Enchanté. Auto adjusted the light. Nice. Um, we big things are happening, people. We have finished almost all of our ceiling. <laughs> plywood underneath but we wanted to do this like industrial beam look for the ceiling and we were debating on how we wanted to have our lights done because we had already wired the electrical and Matt had the good idea of doing these like very thin LED strip lights so we're gonna backlight the beam so I'll show you what it looks like in the dark And uh, we don't have the electrical fully wired yet, but Matt's gonna do a little test run. Also, shout out to Battleborn. We got two of these bad boys, 100 amp hour, 12 volt. I mean, it's kind of too late to <laughs> make this work, so. <laughs> yeah, this is a... And we marked all the cords that we have running in our walls so that we know. <gasps> so sweet. Pretty ambient, you know, it's not... We're gonna have other lights as well, but... Uh, I think it looks so cool. Do you? Exactly what I wanted. Yeah, just a good little moody light. 
I know you guys don't know what our vision is fully, but it's gonna be dope. <laughs> you just have to trust us. And this is a great way to test. So, you know, the wiring's holding. Um, I use the shrink wrap kit for these. Um, these little guys, so you heat them up, and then this little piece melts in there and creates a circuit. They're wired in series. Um, so I wired the last one and the first one. Just to so make sure. the first one is here, and then there's... No. Well, the first one is here. Or sorry, the first one's there. The last one is here. Oh, right, because we went all the way down and all the way across, so there's technically six uh, lights for it. Pretty happy. This is really awkward. See what Matt's up to. What? I said, what are you working on, framing? Matt didn't have a great build day. I didn't help him, so that probably didn't help. But what we've come to the conclusion on is we're gonna build the frames for the bed and the countertops inside the van instead of trying to build a square unit outside of the van because the van is not perfectly level or square itself. Anything you wanna add, champ? You happy to be done for the night? What's up everyone? Yesterday, again, frustrating. I told them. <laughs> uh, but coming together, we're doing a countertop on this side. So it's gonna have a water tank, there's gonna be a shower out here. We have our induction cooktop going in and then where the white, or excuse me, where the yellow AC cable is. Yes, yeah, so induction cooktop will go right here. And then, and then the sink will go right there in front of the door and you can look out the window while you do the dishes. And then we're gonna have a couch here, which is where we're gonna sit, have a table, and then our bed will go here. So yeah, all coming together. Feels good to make progress again. I am by no means a carpenter, cabinet maker, fan builder, and I've been playing this for a long time, but it is way harder than I thought. But it's been a great learning experience. Luckily, we got Papa Rule come in yeah. to get us ahead on a few things. I don't know if we showed, but the ceiling is now done all the way to here, down yeah. and out. So or this cutout space will be for the upper cabinets. Yep. We're gonna go like right here, and then we're gonna mimic on this side. And I think we're gonna have an open shelf right here above the couch. Which I would have known when I painted it, but that's all right. But I think we're gonna do wallpaper. Oh, right, we keep saying that. So we're gonna actually, we painted, but that's fine because it gives a nice smooth surface for um, a really cool wallpaper, I think, that we're gonna do. So it's all coming together. We got all our electrical stuff. Heads up to everyone, electrical, bus bars, fuses, fuse blocks, all that kind of jazz is super expensive. Um, we went marine grade. Um, I feel like that's the best just because it's been proven on the water for boats. And if you want to think about it that way, these are boats on land. So just- Cars are boats on land. Darn tootin' right, RV time. <laughs> Nance, go get me my pump! <laughs> Alright, um, I gotta charge this battery. What's happening? We gotta... R&R! &R. We gotta guess this weekend. <laughs> yeah, a help. guest appearance. <laughs> this is the other rule. This is Dad. <laughs> Dad is on the scene. R&R. &R. Expediting... Doing, rich and rare. Dad's doing double time. <laughs> rich and rare. Ripe and rare. <laughs> that rotten, might be... Rotten and... Ripe and rotten. Ripe and rotten. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's see it.
flesh wound. You can't really see it, but uh, it's merely a flesh wound. He cut himself throwing some uh, metal. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Got it on film. <laughs> so it may look like the water tank can't come out, but it actually can because we got one of the over the wheel ones. So we just have to pull it out. Yeah, way. just slide it and it clears it. Oops. And then we just can pull it out. Good goop right there. Here's a lumber storage unit. <laughs> so originally the plan was to have our pantry storage here. Yeah. But I like how open it is right now. Yes. Dad had the great idea of putting the fridge underneath right here. That sink can go anywhere in here. You could put your fridge right there and drawer, a deep drawer here and a door below. Mm -hmm. So you got a nice deep drawer, single drawer for utensils. This will, can be a shelf with a door in front of it, fridge. We wouldn't do cabinets right here. This would just be a wall. Oh, even over the bed? No, over the bed. We just run the cabinet to, to the there. Same, the same one. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right. That's where that light switch was going to go. I yeah. took your seat also. And yep. then... As if I... I, if you... I did all the work. <laughs> Good job, Al! I've contributed nothing, but I painted my nails. <laughs> Matt's mom and I have been Netflixing. Here's Jasper. Watch this. Sunday morning. It is Sunday morning. We're here with Papa Rule. We're currently working on just taping out our um, induction cut top, our really large, really heavy sink that's coming this week, and our fridge. We decided to change up the layout a little bit, and just another balmy 116 here in Phoenix today. Anything else you got to say? It's hot. It's hot. Alaska blood runs thick in us. <laughs> I.e. we prefer a little bit cooler. Peck pipe drill. Oh yeah, and we got our Pex pipe. So that's gonna be for our, our outdoor shower. FedEx delivers on Sundays. FedEx ground delivers on Sundays. In the bed. This is where the magic happens. I think Dad would say this is where the grandkids happen. Well, I don't want to put pressure on you or anything. <laughs> We've already been building for about two hours now. It's really hot in Phoenix. I'm sure you're happy hearing that. Pop rules still here. It is a Monday, but I took some time off with the fam. We're jamming out here. So today we're working on our slatted bed system. It's pretty cool actually. We got these little they're about eighth inch. They just slot between, slot between each one, and then we're countersinking them into this piece, and then this will slide over to our countertop, and then this will come into it. So that's what we're doing. We're having fun doing it, trying to stay hydrated. 
so yeah, going to sign this off, spend a little bit more time with family, might be a little bit shorter video this week, but we appreciate the support and we'll get back to you next week. Mm -hmm.